during Operation Protective Edge and is still missing. He was a handsome boy with a big smile, fun to be with, and full of positive energy. Lake Kinneret in front of you reflects both Oron's blue eyes and his connection with nature and his homeland. Oron was born and raised in the nearby community of Poria Elite on December 27, 1993. He was the son of Herzl, of blessed memory, and Zava, brother to Ofik and Aviram. As he grew up, he developed his talents in painting and sculpting, music, hiking, playing soccer, and mainly his love for animals. He studied in Kibbutz de Ganya Aleph and continued to high school in Beit Yerach, which can be seen down below on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. After graduating high school, Aron joined the army and volunteered to serve in the Golani Infantry Brigade. Above all else was his love and dedication to the brigade and his fellow soldiers. On Israel's 66th Independence Day celebrations, Aron received the Award for Excellency from Israel's president. The certificate states, Aron serves in the Golani Brigade. Despite difficulties at home, he chose to serve as a combat soldier. Aron fulfills his missions professionally with dedication and initiative and volunteers for any mission. He earned the appreciation and admiration of his commanders and fellow soldiers. On July 8, 2014, as a response to intensive rocket attacks from the Gaza Strip on Israel, the Israel Defense Forces launched Operation Protective Edge against the Hamas terror organization. On July 20th, Aron, together with his unit, entered the Gaza Strip in an armored personnel carrier. Near the Saja'iyah neighborhood, the APC was attacked with heavy gunfire from Hamas forces and set on fire. Aron kept fighting to the last minute. Six of his comrades were killed in the incident. Several days later, his vest and helmet were found deep inside a tunnel close to the place where the APC was hit. Hamas announced that they had captured an Israeli soldier, stating Aron's name and military details. The IDF declared Aron a fallen soldier whose burial place is unknown, but his family continues to demand his return home. This lookout is part of the intensive efforts to remember and never forget Aron Shaul. In front of you are the amazing landscapes that were part of Aron's life. You can use the panoramic map to help identify the places mentioned in the explanation. The Sea of Galilee, also known as Lake Kinneret, lies before you in all its glory. It is the largest sweetwater lake in Israel. Its water originates from the Jordan River, streams from the Golan in Galilee, and from rainfall. In the past, the lake provided about one-third of Israel's water needs. But following a steady rise in water consumption in the country, our supply now comes mainly from desalinated seawater. Looking left and northward, you can see a steep slope descending from the Poria Ridge down to the lake. A forest called the Swiss Forest was planted there to prevent soil erosion and to create a green space for people to enjoy. Nearby is the Poria Youth Hostel. It was built according to the vision of Israel Tiber, industrialist and Zionist entrepreneur. Tiber wanted to develop tourism around the Kinneret. He envisioned planes landing on the water on their way from London to India. And for a short period of time, it actually became a reality. Around the lake, there are many beaches. One of them, just below us, Berenice Beach, is named after a Jewish queen who ruled during the Roman period. Beyond the Kinneret rise the Golan Heights. Until 1967, Syria controlled the Golan and used it as a base for attacks against Israel. Below the Golan, you can see the kibbutzim of Ha'on, Tel Katsir, and Ein Gev, which suffered continuous bombardments by the Syrians. In 1967, during the Six-Day War, the IDF climbed the Golan and freed Israel from the threat of the Syrian army. The Golan is now home to many flourishing Jewish communities. We all pray for the return home of Aron Shaul.
and wish you a pleasant tour of Aron's childhood landscapes.